Hey guys, it's Kugel again with another ROM review and this time I've got the awesome ROM that is Science Gen Mod 11 for Galaxy S3 from the house of Ben Edmund and his team. This awesome ROM is now available for us. It is still the unofficial build and still in its infancy but it is good to go as a daily driver so let's get that out of the way. So let's get into the ROM. Uh, here is the lock screen, which is the uh, vanilla 4.4 lock screen with the widgets enabled. You can enable that in the settings menu. I have done that. I'm using this one as my daily driver now, so you will see a lot of apps and whatever I have done with it. Okay. So here is the launcher. Uh, it is Google Experience Launcher. Um, I recently I know now that it is available in the Play Store with the Google search app, the latest Google search app. If you want uh, the Experience Launcher, you can uh, have that. It is available for Android 4.1 and above. So there. Let's go to settings. Uh, this is CyanogenMod, mod, so you have a lot of features here and there. Let's go to about phone. This is CyanogenMod. mod. It is Android 4.4 version, so you have the K and the Android KitKat thing and the puzzle yeah the puzzle will be coming on uh, what else it is the unofficial version nightly this is 12 11 2013 version if you wish to know did want to know that here it is it is a test version okay uh, this was uh, released to uh, the Google Plus uh, community and I got hold of that it's really uh, I can't say that this is uh, just a test build because it functions so beautifully. Uh, it's really nice to have this yet now. So, uh, what are all the Sanjin mod features? Let's see. Okay, these are the normal features of all ROMs. Uh, the ASP. I have recently reviewed the Omni ROM, which has all these features. Now, the interface features are the new ones. You have theme selection. Right now, I'm running the KitKat theme because I really want the icons of the Nexus 5. So, I'm using this theme. It can run all these themes also. So, if you want to use a theme with it, well, which kind of defeats the purpose of it. Okay, uh, something which you have to bear in mind. Uh, spare parts are the ones which has all the features of it. Okay, you have status bar settings with uh, you can change the location of this uh, alignment to center or with AMPM indicator, small or date. You can do that. So it's now there. Uh, what else? Network traffic meter. You have the ability to turn on or off the uh, network traffic. It will display here. Brightness control, if you have auto auto brightness disabled, you can use that. Pretty awesome feature to have. Lights and warning, again you can select all of these science and more features. Screen and animations, you have CRT animation, you can have all these also. I personally like scale down, which is that one. It's awesome. So, what else? General settings includes all these uh, alternate uh, default app grid you have in the 4.4 you have list or you can uh, choose the other one if you want show CPU information here restart system UI if you get stuck it is in the uh, preview build it's just getting started so you might have a few problems with system UI if even if you have you can just restart it and be good to go without the actual reboot so um yeah i think that is the features now okay uh, it's not fully functional yet it's uh but it can uh, be used as a daily driver in any day of the day okay uh, you have the pulse uh, notification light which i really want uh, you also have the ability to change the uh, led setting really cool feature to have let me turn down the brightness a bit so, um, something which I want to talk to you about uh, is a kind of a bug, a small bug. Uh, the dark UI TRDS, what you are seeing, I didn't enable that. If you were paying attention, uh, I didn't enable that. It turned on uh, on its own. I'm now turning it off. But what turned off is the Bluetooth. Yes, the Bluetooth turned off when I was trying to turn off that. So, I, I will do this again. Bluetooth is on. Sometimes it turns off the Wi-Fi instead of the Bluetooth or whatever. If I okay, that's 
now it's gone okay uh let me turn off the wi-fi now turn on this turn on, turn it off turn it on bluetooth is turned on okay uh it's kind of a puzzle thing i don't know what is going on but after reboot it does work uh no problem the dark ui grds does turn on and off uh, periodically i don't know what the thing is with that but Come on, it's in the uh, early builds, there will be a few bugs. Dark UI does work as you can see. If you seek back to the video uh, starting, you can see this was not the case. So I think that is it about this uh, CyanogenMod 11 early build. Uh, again, kudos to Ben Edmund and his team. It's really awesome. It's uh, kind of those dreams which came real. Uh, too quickly, okay. I wasn't uh, expecting to uh, have a usable version of Cyanogen Mod 11 anytime soon, but come on, it is now, so that's awesome. Uh, let me show you guys the boot animation, which is a tweaked version. So here is the tweaked boot animation with the Cyanogen Mod guy and an unofficial, so they want to be clear on that it is an official version. So that is it. Uh, it is similar to the other uh, boot animation, that is the uh, Cyanogen Mod 10.2 boot animation, but with a few tweaks in the middle. So, yeah, that's cool. Uh, I realize now that there is a, a Temasex version, that is uh, Temasex Build 1. I will be getting my hands on that and will be uh, using that one also, so that's pretty um, awesome. So, yeah. Um, I guess that is it and ah uh, yeah one more thing is that you see the um, signal indicator right it's showing full uh, that was one of the problem which I faced with OmniROM it only displayed one bar when actually there was a lot this one fixes that so you have that fixed really awesome um, yeah let me show you guys the uh, security option uh, one guy told me that I didn't show in the Omni ROM I didn't show the uh, lock screen around the thing so enable widget is available in the security feature the setting security enable widget so I didn't want to leave that out so yeah I think that much is it about the ROM uh, hope you guys like the video please uh, like share and subscribe if you really like it um, hope to see you guys next time bye